Hello everyone and welcome to GeoGuru. In this video, we'll explore how to extract data from a net CDF file and store it in a CSV or text file using a simple Python script. Let's dive in and make this process easy and straightforward. So this is the Python script. Either you can run it on the Google Colab platform or into your local PC machine. So these are the standard library that we are required, i.e. X-Array, Pandas and NumPy. So we are going to hit run. After that, we are going to give the path where we have stored our net CDF file. So in our case, I stored in this particular folder. I am just going to copy the path and paste it over here and hit run. So this particular command will merge all the net CDF files that are stored in this particular folder. You can see the output which contains details about a net CDF data. In the data variables section, you will find all the variables that are stored in the net CDF files. In our case, it is precipitation data stored as TP. So in the next line, we will use TP and everything will be as it is. In your case, it may happen that the longitude may be written as long. So then you have to replace with as it is. After giving the variable name, we have to hit run. And this particular output will give an idea from which latitude to longitude and this particular data set has been used. And this is the image of the last data set into the time series. So in our case, it is 31st of December 2002. Next line is a simple function. You just need to click run. You don't need to change anything. So next, if you want to extract the data of a particular location, you just need to enter the latitude and longitude of that location. So in our case, I have given the coordinates of Delhi and I have to hit run. Now you can see that it has automatically extracted the data set. In our case, this is the precipitation data set we can see. And its unit in meters and this is the hourly data set we can see. This is the date of every hour. We can also store into a CSV file after uncomment this particular line. Now, I just uncomment this line and hit run one again. So this particular data has been stored into my local directory. You can see this TP underscore the latitude and longitude. So this particular text file stored the data into the CSV format. Next, if you want to extract the data for all the locations within a bounding box, you can provide the maximum and minimum latitude and longitude of bounding box over here. That is upper latitude, upper longitude, lower latitude and lower longitude. Using the next lines of code, you can extract all the data of each and every pixels in this particular bounding box. It may take some time. For this particular exercise, I'm going to reduce the extent of bounding box. Suppose it is 34.5 and it is 78.5 from 78. And I'm going to hit run once again. So these are the few pixels that are available in this particular bounding box. And after a few minutes or seconds, depending on the data sets, what we are using, it will extract all the data set of all from all the latitude and longitude. And you can store this thing also into a CSV file by uncommenting this line. Link to above script is given in the description. So hope this helped. If you find the video informative, then hit the like button and with your friends and colleague and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.